relation, right? Well, a relation is a pairing of inputs with outputs or X values with Y values, uh, independent variable, dependent variable like that. So it's a pairing of two sets of data, but not every relation is a function. Uh, what a function is, you can think of a function as like a vending machine. Like if you go to a vending machine and you push A1, right? And one time you get a Coca-Cola and one time you get a Pepsi, okay? That's unpredictable. You have one input, but you're actually getting more than one output. It's, you don't know what you're gonna get, right? Now, it's okay to press A1 and get a Coke and get press A5 and get a Coke because when you press that button, you know what you're gonna get. So it's okay to have more than one input going to the same output. Okay, I'll show you in these examples what I mean. So first of all, we can display these relation, uh, relations as ordered pairs, tables, graphs, mapping diagrams, etc. So with the ordered pair, you can see that we're pairing the x value with the y value. x with y, x with y, x with y, and so on. But what you wanna be careful of is you don't wanna have the same input going to two different outputs like that, right? And that's what's happening here. You can see five is mapping to two, but five is also mapping to three. Back to that vending diagram, we're pressing the button five. One time we get two as an output, one time we get three. So this one is not a function. So I'm just gonna write not a function, okay? For the second one, this table, same thing, you're matching an X value with a Y value. Negative two maps with eight, negative one maps to three, zero to six, one to four. What you're looking for is a repeated input, a repeated X value. So you can see the X values are not repeated. So we're not in danger of having one input going to multiple outputs. This one's okay, this one is actually a function. So I'm just gonna say function, FN. This one, okay, is a graph. And again, you know, a graph is really just like a plotting of X coordinates and Y coordinates, okay, for each individual point. Now, when you're looking at a graph, a nice way to check to see if it's a function is to do something called the vertical line test. What you do is you draw a bunch of these vertical lines, and what you're doing is you're seeing if it crosses more than one point for a given vertical line. Now, when you scan across here, you can see that's never the case. Every time, you know, I draw a vertical line, it's only crossing at most one point. Whereas if I put another point right here, for example, what it means is that for this x value four, I'm getting a y value of one, and I'm getting a y value of four. So for that particular input, that x value, I'm getting more than one y value. So as it stands now, it fails that vertical line test. It means that it's not a function. Okay. All right, so that's that one. And then mapping diagram, just like it looks like you have an input and an output and you're mapping or drawing an arrow from the input to the output. Now, some students make a little mistake with the mapping diagram because they see these arrows going to the same output like that. And they say, hmm, wait a second, this, something doesn't look right here. Uh, three goes to negative one, five goes to negative one. But again, if we go back to my vending uh, machine example, if you push the button three, do you know what you're gonna get for your output? Yes, you know you're gonna get negative one. If you press five, do you know what you're gonna get? Yes, negative one. That's okay, that's predictable, that's a function. What you don't want, and I'm gonna change the setup of this particular one, is you don't want eight, for example, going to four and eight going to two. So you press that button on the vending machine, one time you get four that comes out, whatever that represents, Coca-Cola, or you press eight and out comes Pepsi, right? So you don't know what your outcome is gonna be. Here you have one input going to more than one output. It doesn't just have to be two, you could have eight also going to negative one, four, and two. We don't know what the output's gonna be, we don't know what the end result's gonna be, so this one is not a function. So basically a relation, like we said, is a pairing of inputs with outputs, but you wanna make sure that you know, not every relation is a function unless it satisfies that condition of each input just goes to one output. So I hope this helped you understand how to work with relations and functions better. Subscribe to the channel, check out tons more math tutoring videos on my YouTube channel, Mario's Math Tutoring. And if you have suggestions or you have uh, something that you want me to do a video about in the future, I'll definitely consider it if it's something I haven't covered yet. Let me know about that and I'll see you in the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.